Okay. This should be an easy test drive. It's a 1995 5.0 Mustang. Cold AC. Does have some paint flaws. Looks like it's got a new fender here. Also a new front bumper. Just needs to be painted to match the car. Got aftermarket set of wheels. And we're gonna be taking it down the road, seeing what's wrong with it, checking it out. And mostly it's all cosmetic, but anything that I see, you will know about it. Check the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Finance and shipping's available. And of course, you know, we get new rides every week. Everything from projects to show cars. We're across the board there, guys. So you can see any of the videos that we have posted here on YouTube. There's almost 3,000 of them. So go check it out and look down below in playlist cars currently available to see stuff that we have today you can also check on mondays when we update with the new cars guys sit back relax it's about that time let's go for a ride before we take off let's look around the interior pretty good shape we're going to drop the top but we're going to drop it about halfway through the test drive um you'll see it in the walk around at the end of the video this one's showing 179,000 miles. I've got the emergency brake on. That's what that light is. Airbag light was flashing just then. Cut off. Anti-lock light is on. Airbag light's popping back on there too. Okay, so oil pressure is in good range. Tack is working. Gas gauge, quarter tank, uh, engine temperature. I've had it running for a little bit. It's still on the low side. Good. Wipers working. Place your bets. You think the horn works? Going across the dash. The seats are in decent shape for the age. Console looks pretty good. That right there is separating. Hey, that still works. Most of the time those go bad. It's working good. Face to the radio is in the office. Cold AC is just blowing on me right now in this 100 degree weather. Um, back seat pretty good also the inside of the top looks nice it works great the back windows do go down slow on both sides that's what i've heard i haven't actually tried it the clock on the dash is working what time is it is it 3 31 it is good deal horn hey works good nice and sensitive let's put the seat belts on and take off Okay guys, got you on my head here. We're gonna take off down the road. Of course, anything that I see, I will let you know. Let's get it. Clutch felt pretty good coming off the floor there. car's got a little bit of a left pull and a little bit of slack in the steering feels pretty good going down the road and into the brakes they're not too bad Got it up into fifth. Yeah, fifth feels good. Something that I have noticed, the odometer is not turning over. That was a common problem with these Mustangs. Definitely gonna stop at the gas station, get a little bit of fuel. Shifting out good. So just slight slack in the steering, a little bit of a left pull, and the odometer is not turning over. Everything else seems to be working good. Suspension is not too bad, especially with these aftermarket wheels here. Uh, what was it on these Mustangs? I can't remember exactly which side. I bet it's my side. We'll try it. Watch, I'll have to turn around. We're going to get some fuel, probably about $25 worth of fuel, and take off. I bet the gauge works. Okay, I got about $20 worth of fuel in this ride, and I told you I'd have to switch sides. So, I'm gonna 
There's a Cummins coming through here. That truck's wild. But yeah, you put the gas in right here. All right. We'll go check the gauge, and then we're gonna take off. Turning the key before I turn it, after. It should come up a little bit more. We'll keep watching it. It looks like it's just barely creeping up. But once it gets past half a tank, I'll let you know. So. Okay, let's head on back to the lot now. So I went ahead and did the picking out the flaws. I'm gonna put it at the end of the video. That way you know all the details about the ride. As far as running and driving, feels pretty good. The tires make it feel a little bit bumpy. Also noticed on the back windows, they have trouble going down, so you have to have two people. This one over here goes down, but I don't want it falling down on the window, so uh, I only went down about halfway. gauge did not go up where I wanted it to. It should have got about half a tank and it seems like it's stuck around a quarter tank. Had the AC on blast the whole time. Engine temperature's right at half mark. That's good. Still got a little bit of a pull to the left. And of course, we're rolling up back to the car lot now. Guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. 
Be sure to hit subscribe if you did. I'm gonna keep pushing them out every day. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna walk around this ride. I'm gonna show you any kind of flaws I can find. Of course, they, you know, they did the front bumper and they did that side bumper over here, or the fender. Uh, on the front bumper here, you do have some clear coat peeling up. You got a lot of little chips and scratches on it. It hasn't been painted to match the car or anything. You see some scuffs. This fender's flat. You see the clear coat coming off of it. Same with the hole on the side, like scratch. Here's a dent right here in the side of the door. A little scuff here. Got some rubber back here. A little armor all splattered up. Tires got some rubber eating out of it too. Tail lights. You can see a little fogginess going around on the edges there back that mid section chips in the door little touch up mark there crack here on this piece front window is in good shape on this one I don't really see any big cracks or chips spot there the top on this one is in good shape that's good you got some chips right here on some of your trim coming around the back your back bumper a little clear coat coming off of it on top there Little dirty and your jams in the back seal looks good trunk lid coming on down with it it's locked magnet tag there Let's see where the other lot sticker was right below ours faded wing on this one with some scratches A scratch here in the middle Coming back down, a little scuff here in the corner. Ding right here, really small. Ding right here as well, a little bit bigger than the last one. Some light scuffs on top of the paint. This side's got some light scuffs over here. Some touch-up marks. Touch-up marks down at the bottom. see those down on the lower piece There's more there touch up marks here also under that by the antenna light scratches on that bumper Clear coat coming off there. There's a headlight here. It's got something on it. I'm not sure what that is. Little scuffs on the top of the fender. Windshield looks good. Pillar looks good.
The top on this one's in pretty good shape. Okay. Let's drop the top. How about that? I haven't tried it myself. They said it works good. What we'll do, check the interior out. Dinger works. More jams looking good. You know, the carpet in this one's in good shape too. It doesn't look like it's been eat up. I carried a bunch of waters with me. The seat though, needs some repair. It's got wear, it's got a little wear down here. You can see where it's been aged and set in a bunch. I'll go ahead and start it up. AC is almost instantly cold in this one. Um, I used to own a bunch of these 5.0s back in the day. Let's see. It's that parking brake hit the top. Flies down. Goes down pretty fast. As far as the windows, that one's going down. He said you got to help the back ones. That one's not moving. This back one. back here. I can hear it. You definitely have to help it down. You don't want it falling down in the window or in the jam there. That would be bad. Probably just the motors on it. I have to have two people to get that one down. Of course, looking over the interior here, the passenger seat it's in good shape, but it has a spot there. A little tear there. Okay, let's listen to that motor. Edge of this hood, it's got some flaws on it, little scratches. Big old crack here, it's gonna need some work. Ah, shut. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I went ahead and picked out all the flaws. We're going to take this car back to the lot. It runs and drives good. It's got a lot of cosmetics. Check out the detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping. And of course, we get new cars every week. If you hit subscribe, you can see all kinds of different stuff from projects to show cars. Guys, thank you. See you later.